Hi, and this is Dr. Habib Ahmad, and today I'm going to show you how to export 20 plots from Silvaco TCAD into CSV files, and from there onwards we can plot them in origin, etc. So, with that goal in mind, uh, let us start the simulation. Here is the code, and I'm not going to go into the details of the code because I already talked about this code in another video. <coughs> If you go to my YouTube channel, then we go to videos. Here is the video. How to introduce a new material in a thin Silvago T card, uh, in which I've presented a gallium nitride based diode, struc diode structure in a thin Silvago. Uh, so I'm not going to go into the details of the code. I'm just going to write away, run the simulation over here. Well, for some reason, the the program exited, so I'm going to run it once again. Open that particular particular file, which I have saved at desktop. Excuse me, I'm going to run it once again. Here is the structure. And if I click on display contours and then hit apply. Uh, we see over here, it's basically a PN junction diode, gallium nitride based PN junction diode structure. Uh, where for the P type layer, which is over here, the whole concentration is 10 to the power of 18 per centimeter cube. And for the N type layer, the electron concentration is 10 to the power of 17 per centimeter cube. Uh, then we see I have deposited an aluminum layer as an anode contact and then let me go to display contacts. So I hit on this icon, click on this icon, hit apply. Now you can see the anode and cathode. The anode is over here which is aluminum layer and I will define the back side of the structure as cathode. I'm running the voltage sweep for the anode contact in the range of 0 to 4 volts uh, with a step of 0 0.05. And right now we are at 3.5, 3.55, so we are getting there. Here is our IV characteristic. I right click on it click on display and I want to look at anode current versus anode voltage. So I hit on apply, click OK. And now the goal is to export uh, this Tony plot into CSV format. So for that purpose, I go to file, export, then I go to this drop down menu and here I select comma separated values. I give it a path as well. And I'm gonna save it as uh, GAN diode IV. So I hit OK, export succeeded, then I go to that particular file. We can see <coughs> it in Excel format, so I open this file. Um, in this file, we have different columns. Uh, the first column is anode voltage. And then we have different columns, but I'm more interested in plotting anode voltage versus anode current. 
So let me go to origin software now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the first column from here and paste it over here in origin and then I'm going to copy the second column which represents the anode current <coughs> excuse me and paste it over here once again uh, then um, this is our anode voltage and this one is our anode current I'm going to set the units for anode voltage and anode current as well then I select both these columns and I click on this icon and then I click on line plus symbol so now here is our IV characteristic which I've plotted in uh, origin software now. Um, I can make some further settings of this plot as well. For example, I want to show the top axis for this plot as well and the right axis for this plot as well. And then I hit apply. So now you can see you have the right axis and the top axis as well. But I don't like the titles and the uh, and the tick labels on the top axis and on the right axis. So I'm gonna go to tick labels, and for the bottom, for the top one, I am going to uncheck this, and then for the right one as well, I'm going to uncheck uh, this option uh, then I hit on apply so now we don't see the tick labels but we'll, we still see the titles for the top axis and for the right axis as well so I'm going to uncheck it for uh, the title for the top axis and for the right axis and then I hit apply once again I'm gonna move this over here somewhere inside this window <coughs> um, we can make some further um, changes in this plot as well like for example I can set the font to bold for the x-axis and also for the y-axis and then I can set the title of the bottom axis to bold as well and similarly the title of the left, left axis to bold. And then I can set the title of the plot to bold as well. Uh, similarly, we can also uh, make changes to the trace. Where, for example, I like this symbol more. And in terms of colors, I like this blue color more. Uh, similarly, for the line inside the plot, I can set its uh, thickness to 2 and I can set its color as well and then I hit apply so I like this one better um, now we can further export this uh, figure uh, let me set the path for this
basically at desktop we have this folder okay <clears throat> and I'm gonna name it as uh, IV for example now um, we can uh, set it to different DPI's for example if I set it to 100 DPI dots per inch uh, the quality of the output figure would not be that high so let me set one figure as uh, 100 DPI and then let me save another figure with uh, the uh, dots per inch of uh, I would say 600 DPI and you can check the difference uh, between the quality of the two figures so now let me export another graph path for this file is correct and let me set it to 100 dots per inch generally for publication purposes let me rename it name it to iv2 uh, generally for publication purposes different journals would require you to submit figures of uh, either 300 dpi or 600 dpi so now that i've saved these two figures this one is at 100 dpi let me zoom in further on this figure and then the other one is saved with image quality of uh, 600 dpi and you can see the difference of quality of the two figures like this one which is saved with the 100 dots per inch you can see this uh, uh, zigzag kind of pattern in the trace of the plot while the other one over here which is saved at uh, 600 dpi uh, you don't have these exact patterns so you basically get high quality images you have the control over saving high quality images in uh, origin as well well that's it for the uh, session for today I hope this information was useful for you in terms of uh, saving plots uh, from Silvaco TCAD into exporting them in uh, CSV format and from there onwards you can further plot them in software such as Origin, uh, export high quality images from there for publication purposes. Uh, take care and I will talk to you next time. Adios.